r slash ask reddit asks what is a fact that could possibly save your life if you've gone two and a half or more days without water and you have to choose between drinking water without any way to sanitize it or not drinking water drink the water if you don't you'll definitely die soon most of the diseases you can get from bad water take a couple days to set in, which gives you more time to find help. Also, if you have any kind of tubing available, you can force the untreated water into your rectum and hydrate via your intestines and you probably won't even get sick from it. Your intestines absorb some of the water over about 20 minutes and you kinda just give yourself an enema. If you encounter a mountain lion, do not turn your back on it. Walk backwards. Cats are ambushed predators. They don't want to fight you head on and will wait for you to turn around to attack. There are videos showing this behavior with tigers at the zoo. People will sit in front of the enclosure, and as soon as they turn their back to the cat, the tiger goes into stalk mode. They turn around to face the tiger, and the tiger goes out of stock mode. Lock your doors at night. If you've been stabbed and the weapon is left in your body, do not remove it. Edit. As has been brought to my attention, lock your door always. Learn to swim. You don't have to be Michael Phelps racing a shark. Just learn the basics. If a friend of yours has fallen through ice into a frozen body of water and you would like to save them, lie down on the ice and crawl out to them, do not walk out to them standing up. This maximizes your surface area and lessens the likelihood that you will fall through the ice as well, getting you both fucked. If you're at a bar or club and some asshole antagonizes you don't let your ego get involved. Seen so many people get hurt when they could just walk away. Funny thing is most people think fighting back will defend their pride but to me and a lot of other people you just look insecure. Be the cool guy who just laughs it off. Yours sincerely. Former bartender. You can do the Heimlich maneuver on yourself. Seriously, think about how often you eat or snack when you're by yourself. Even if someone is in another room, if you're choking you cannot talk or scream. Mixing bleach with ammonia, both of which are common household cleaning products, can release deadly chlorine gas. Basically, don't mix household cleaners unless you are 100% sure of what you are doing. Assume other drivers are out to kill you. Healthy paranoia when paying attention to other drivers is a great basis for successful defensive driving. If someone is holding you at gunpoint make eye contact, say, you don't have to do this, humanize this person, as they will have feelings and be vulnerable use that to your advantage. Eye contact will form a connection they will be less likely to kill you. I read about this same strategy if you discover you're with a serial killer and they intend to kill you. You basically have three minutes to humanize yourself. Make eye contact, tell them about your kids, even if you don't have any, tell them about taking care of your elderly parents, tell them how much you love your spouse, anything to evoke an emotional response from them. If someone is trying to abduct you and fighting back or yelling for help doesn't work, then pretend to faint or vomit on them. If those tactics don't work then take the chance of getting stabbed or shot to escape. Once you get in the vehicle with an abductor, your odds of surviving are less than if injured in public. If you ever come into contact with a gorilla, especially a male, stay low and quiet, and no sudden moves. Don't look them in the eyes either. They take loud noises and movement as a challenge and they'll crush you like a soda can. Chips can be used as a fire starter. 
I imagine pretty much any snack food that is starch-based would work. Personally, I find Doritos to work quite well. So next time you're lost in the woods, stop at the next vending machine you see and it might just save your life. If your hair on your arm or on your head is standing up on one end during the thunderstorm, lightning is about to strike you. If there is not a building or a car nearby, crouch down immediately. This forces lightning to find the next shortest distance possible it can strike, since lightning strikes the tallest thing in its area. If your car is submerged in water, you won't be able to open the door against the weight of the water on the outside pushing it closed. If the car is completely filled with water though, the pressure on either side is equal and the door can be opened. That's the worst case scenario, though, and that should be the last thing you try. The first thing to try to do is roll up, or smash, the windows and jump out. You have less than a minute to do this. Asterisk do not asterisk waste any precious time calling 911 until you get the hell out of that car. In an emergency situation if you need help for yourself or someone else, don't just yell help or call 911. Use specifics, instead say something like, you in the blue shirt, help. Unless called out personally people have a tendency to walk on by, assuming someone else will help. Using the personal detail gets them involved. If you ever find yourself caught in a riptide, swim parallel to the shoreline until you get out of the riptide. Swimming directly back to the shore while caught in one won't get you anywhere and it'll only exhaust you, making it extremely dangerous to do so. If you're being chased by a brown bear, lay it down. Brown bears usually attack in defense, so lay it down so you don't look like a threat. If you're being chased by a black bear, fight back. Don't try to climb a tree, they can climb too. If you're being chased by a polar bear, you're kinda screwed, because polar bears give zero fucks. They'll kill you if you lay it down, and you won't be able to successfully fight back. Your best bet is to strip, throw your clothes in different directions, then pray and run as fast as you can, because they have a tendency to stop and sniff things. In a crisis situation, people run for the door they came in from. When the shooter walks into the restaurant, run for the kitchen. There's always an exit through the kitchen, and very few people will think to run there. Plus if you're not armed, a kitchen is full of killer cutlery to defend yourself with. Get proper sleep, you need it in life. Do your best to get more or less the hours you need every night. A bad night will not kill you. However, over a longer period lack of sleep may cause a series of conditions, heart failure, blood pressure problems, early Alzheimer's etc. Perhaps kill you in traffic due to you being stressed not focused, or will make you less able to deal with problems in relationships and might lead to depression. You will likely make very bad decisions, decisions that could damage you and possibly the people around you for years to come. You don't have to wait 24 hours to report a missing person like most people think. This may not save your life directly as directly as other things in this thread, but if more people realized that you didn't have to wait it could save many lives because the faster a missing person report is filed the better chance they will be found. Always wait a second after the light turns green before moving into an intersection. Even if the light turns green while you're still in motion. If you have the telltale signs of a heart attack and live alone, aren't around anybody cough vigorously. It will help keep you conscious hopefully long enough to call 911. The AHA doesn't endorse it but if you're about to go unconscious it won't hurt to do it. Stepping down from a fight is the best way to avoid getting your ass beat, stabbed, shot. Way too many deaths from big mouths and big egos. Placate, apologize, back away, 
But don't turn away. Don't eat snow for hydration unless you're really desperate. Your body uses a lot of energy converting one form of matter into another. Eating snow would provide very little hydration and in return you lose a lot of body heat. Height, sound and eye contact are the three tools to scare off predators. Assume the pose that gives you the most height and walk backwards without breaking eye contact. Make sounds if you aren't in danger of attracting more predators. Edit. As others have pointed out, direct eye to eye contact is bad, but keeping them in your line of sight is the correct method. If you have a cut that gets infected and see a streak of red going up from it, go to the doctor immediately. It is a sign of serious infection that can lead to sepsis. In a kidnapping situation where the person is trying to get you to force you to go somewhere, somewhere secluded or into a vehicle even if they have a weapon, always always fight and not go with them and run. If they're trying to get somewhere private they are planning to do something very bad to you that requires privacy. It's better to be stabbed or shot at in a public place where people can hear you rather than in a secluded place. Usually making a lot of noise and screaming will scare most offenders off. If a fallen power line is still active and you are glossy bee, never lift your feet but drag them along the ground. Separating your feet can create two contact points with the ground and can result in a shock.